today's video is about slowing down and learning patience. going to be more of a morning scene, a uh, morning sunrise shoot with the light coming in from this side of the scene as opposed to from the other side. Um, I thought maybe you'd get some backlighting, fil backlighting uh, filtering down through the trees, but that's just not the case with the angle of the sun at this time of year. Um, obviously this is a, a lovely willow tree and just in the background there, there's some uh, dense groves of trees, and I think with some harsh, harsher or uh, more directional lighting on the main subject here, it'd be a nice contrast of light and shadow between uh, the foreground tree and the trees that are sort of quite a bit further back into the background. So you get more depth in the scene. Um, and then with all of this sort of cow's parsley and everything in the foreground, a lot of texture and detail, as with uh, the bark of the willow tree. So the 4x5 here is going to really uh, shine because of its sort of crazy resolution. Um, but we'll see how that turns out. I'll come down uh, one morning in the next couple of days and I will show you that when I when I get round to it. All I had to do was wait for the right conditions. Two days later, I checked the weather, and sure enough, there were low winds and clear skies. So I cleaned and packed up my 4x5 gear and was ready to go early the next morning. Good morning. So I've come down, it's an absolutely beautiful sunrise happening behind me. And uh, I've come down to that crack willow that I was at the other night. And I think the light is really gonna work now. Um, 
beautiful side directional light. Nice and soft still, um, but I've, I've brought my 4x5 down and so I'll set that up now and I'll show you the composition that I'm working with. I've got four sheets of film, so I'll be looking for maybe one or two, maybe one wider, and then going close. Um, and this, this is really just an exercise in picking, you know, one subject and then really working with that subject, trying to build some sort of emotional connection and looking a bit closer. I sometimes think we forget to to look closer at a subject and we just uh, get the one shot that we're happy with and leave it at that. Uh, so I'll, I'll set up the 4x5 now and uh, then I'll, I'll talk to you in a bit. So I've set up now, and I've just gone for a sort of standard landscape uh, shot here. Um, I've balanced the tree sort of more to the left side of the composition and left some open space on the right. There is a, uh, a broken tree in the background that's cracked in half, and the open side of that trunk is uh, catching a little bit of light and drawing the eye through the scene. <coughs> Um, I'm just going to meet her now, and then I'll get an exposure. There we go. My first shots on 4x5 were challenging, yet rewarding. Two out of four sheets had light leaks, but the other two were a valuable lesson in patience and waiting for the right conditions. the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Cheers! <laughs>